What's up, everybody? This is Teacher Israel from Evolution Series, and today we will talk about superlatives. Remember that you have to do all your autonomous activities using your digital and printed books. What is a superlative sentence? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. The tallest, the smallest, the fastest, the highest. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Noun, as a subject, verb, the, superlative adjective, and the noun as object. Now, adjectives. Adjectives are word or phrases naming an attribute added to or grammatically related to a noun to modify or describe it. Short adjective, one syllable, two syllables ending in Y or E. Short adjective plus EST. Example, fast, the fastest, happy, the happiest, wise, the wisest. Now, for the grammar structure, we need a noun plus a verb plus the plus the superlative adjective plus the relation of the group or the preposition on an article and the group or the noun, the object, the group that we are talking about. For example, it can be pronouns or it can be nouns. In this case, we talk about uh, fruits and vegetables. Verbs, verb to be, or any other verb, okay? And short adjectives like brave, cheap, etc. Okay? And the group, fruit, vegetables, food, table, dish, kitchen. But it can be, say, family, group, school, team, society, etc. Let's take a look at some samples. I, I am... I am the oldest of the group. I am the oldest of the group. Chicos, hasta aquí. Si se dan cuenta, la estructura que teníamos inclusive en el anterior, lo veíamos, veíamos la diferencia. ¿Qué hacíamos cuando hacíamos comparativos? Agregábamos el ER para que nos diera en, en adjetivos cortos, nos diera como resultado dos. Bien, para superlativos, este ER se cambia por el EST. Ya no va a ser, yo soy más alto que, o okay, que, ok. Yo soy más alto que Juan. No, 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 sino en este caso, como es un superlativo, sería yo soy el más alto, el más rápido. Por eso hacemos esta estructura. Ya con el ejemplo. Otro ejemplo. They are the bravest from the school. And now, cuando tenemos adjetivos largos, si se dan cuenta lo que pasó también, poníamos more o less en comparativos. En este caso tenemos the most or the least, el más o el menos. Porque recuerden que los adjetivos, la regla nos dice que máximo dos sílabas ya con la conjugación. Entonces se supone que estos ya muchos de ellos exceden desde inicio. Es decir, del, el mero adjetivo ya tiene más de dos sílabas. Por eso no podemos utilizar esa conjugación. Los mismos. Y ahora vemos un ejemplo. She, she is the most fancy of the family. She is the most fancy girl of the family. Otro ejemplo. You are the least obnoxious in the team. You are the least obnoxious. The rest are so obnoxious, okay? So, volcano or the volcano is the most amazing place in the country. The volcano is the most amazing in the country. 
Y ahora, como estábamos hablando del producto comparativo familiar, recuerden, en el video pasado fue comparación. En este video será superlativo. Así que, misma imagen. Y vamos a destacar un adjetivo que haga sobresalir a esa persona, a ese individuo, por el resto, en este caso, del grupo, que sería la familia. Ejemplo. This is my father Juan. He is the tallest in the family. This is my father Juan. He is the tallest in the family. She is my mother Paola. She is the most beautiful girl in the world. She is my mother Paola. She is the most beautiful girl in the world. She is my sister Mary. She is the youngest of all. She is my sister Mary. She is the youngest of all. He is my grandfather Pedro. He is the most intelligent person in town. He is my grandfather Pedro. He is the most intelligent person in town. Así que esto tendríamos que agregarlo a los comparativos que ya hicimos para poder ir terminando nuestro producto. Thank you.